This is by far the best salmon I tasted on a business class flight. Hello travelers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you American Airlines business class flight from LA to Miami. The American Airlines aircraft that we flew was the Boeing 777-300. But before I'm going to show you the amenities, I'm going to show you the American Airlines Admirals Club Lounge at LAX that as a business class traveler you have access to. The lounge is in the second floor of Terminal 5 in LAX. The lounge is gorgeous with many comfortable seats. There are also chairs in permanent reclining position for travelers to take a nap. There is also an area where you can watch TV while waiting for your flight. The lounge has a wonderful view of Terminal 5 and you can see all the parked American Airlines aircraft. But when it comes to free food though, selections are pathetic. Except for certain foods, oatmeal, cereal, bagels, and of course coffee. That's it. Even the food you can purchase is not really good. Quesadillas and a few sandwiches. I'm expecting more from the American Airlines Admiral Lounge. Anyway, so much for that. Let me now show you the amenities in this aircraft. We travel with American Airlines when we went on vacation to Curacao, the hidden gem in the Caribbean. It is really a gorgeous island. I will share the link in the description below or watch till the end. I will link the video thumbnail. So much for that advertisement. The configuration of the business class seats is 1 to 1. I was seated in 7A, my wife 7D, and my, our son 7G. In this configuration, all seats have access to the aisles, which is really good. In front of me is the large entertainment screen. It is pretty difficult to watch in its locked position. So just below the TV, there's a button to push for the TV to swing open which you can then lock it for watching. It is a touchscreen, but it's completely unresponsive. You'd better use the remote control to control the TV. Below the TV is an open footwell, but you can also place your small baggages on top when your chair is not in lying flat position. Right next to the aisle is a seat pocket where you can find some magazines and info about the airplane. While the seat is not wide, about 20.5 inches, the chair is comfortable enough. In the flat position, the bed length is 75 inches. To activate my right armrest, I need to press this button and the armrest will pop out. Pretty cool, right? Press the button once more to bring it back down. On my left are most of the controls. Below is the USB and power plug. Audio video input and iPod plug? Why is there an iPod plug? Who uses this? Above the power outlet is the seat controller. There is one button for lie flat position. Other than that, you can individually control the seat for comfort. Above the seat controller is the reading light and the TV remote beside it. Right next to the controls is a small storage compartment where the headphone is placed and it also houses the headphone jack. There is a small countertop. Just underneath the countertop is your pull-out tray and under it is another storage space. The headset provided to business class flyers is pretty good. It is a noise cancelling headphone by Bang and Olufsen. Before 2019, American Airlines was using Bose. BNO is a premium brand from Denmark, and the sound quality of this headset is really good. It is better than the Bose that I am using. Let's take a look at the amenity kit provided to passengers. The kit is supplied by APL, Athletic Propulsion Labs, a shoemaker company based in Los Angeles. The canvas bag looks nice and clean. Let's see what we got in the bag. There is an oversized eye mask of good quality. I like that one a lot. It's very comfortable to wear. A small pack of tissues and earplugs. There is a 20% cashback coupon for Xenology and APL. American Airlines uses the Xenology brand from Amsterdam for their lip balm and lotion. I find this interesting. Flyfit hydration pocket. 
a vitamin powder that claims to help with jet lag. And of course, the comfort items, toothbrush and toothpaste. If you want to take a nap or sleep, passengers are provided with a standard size pillow, which is great, not those teeny weeny pillows provided by other airlines. Did you hear that, United? And a good size blanket, but looks like a comforter to keep you warm. By the way, do not forget to like this video, and if you have not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. There was only one meal during this flight. There were four main plates to choose from, with two vegan options. I opted for the seared salmon. Here's what I was served. I got the main dish, which was the seared salmon on top of the rice and baby carrots, a dinner roll and strawberry cheesecake. There was also a small salt and pepper shaker. This was one of the best plain dishes I tasted. The salmon was juicy and pretty good. The baby carrots were not overcooked and crunchy. The strawberry cheesecake was alright. Nothing special about it, but better than some of the business class cheesecake I tasted. Before we landed, they offered us cookies, but I don't eat cookies at all, so I didn't taste it and gave it to my son. All in all, it was a good business class experience with American Airlines. My major problem was the touchscreen TV, which was very frustrating because it's not responsive at all. Everything else was good and the food was great. Well, the salmon I ordered. As I mentioned earlier, this was our flight on our way to Curacao. If you would like to watch my video about the island, click the thumbnail. Until next time, travelers, bye for now.